Good morning, everybody. Another new day, the last day before we get home. Or today we get home. So we're in Radisson, Saskatchewan, and it's about a nine, nine and a half hour drive home yet, plus stops and breaks. Probably about 12 hours we'll be home, which would make it about 9.30 by the time we get to the yard. It's gonna be pretty late by the time we get home tonight. So we'll get home just in time to go to bed. But it'll be in our own bed. So we are ready to rock and roll. Release the brakes. Put her in gear in this crazy automatic. Let's do a little tug test, shall we? Roll forward a meter or two and spike the brakes. Trailer is attached. Release the brakes. Roll forward again, and brakes release. All wheels are turning. Let's give her. Karen is extra chatty this morning. She's gonna be screaming at me here in a little bit again. Someone needs to get her her coffee or something, get her her medicine. Yeah, don't, don't talk back to me. You need your medication. We're in Saskatoon here, Saskatoon. In 300 meters, turn left on, circle drive east, highway 11 and then keep to the left in 1.4 kilometers. Yeah, okay. So uh, this is uh, the northernmost big city in Saskatchewan. There's still a lot of territory north in Saskatchewan yet, but not as many people. <laughs> for those of you that have been following the channel for long enough, you know that this is the city where uh, our little dashing Frankie got his surgery. And what a miracle that surgery was. Like he is, he's still like a little puppy now. It's amazing what veterinarians and surgeons can do. More riveting scenery here on the prairies to share with you. A bunch of trees here, and we also got some action coming up here. A bunch of flashing lights. We got a fire truck, a tow truck, an RCMP cruiser, another fire truck. What happened here? That's a semi tow truck. these emergency vehicles. I don't see any accident anywhere. Huh, I have no idea what happened. It looked like they were just moving that container onto a different trailer. Maybe somebody lost the container off their trailer and they're just finishing it up now, cleaning it up. I've said it before. I've said it before. Sometimes you see these guys hauling these containers on a flatbed with no chains. Just like four, like three or four straps over the container itself, holding it onto the, the deck of their trailer, right? And I've said, you know, you, you need chains on that. I've seen it quite often, actually. People are just lazy or they're, you know, they're in a hurry. Quickly throw a couple of straps over it, boom, done, right? 
why he used chains. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe not. I don't know. They'd obviously cleaned up whatever had happened. Or they're all just sitting out there having a party, slowing down traffic for, for the giggles. Who knows? So we're coming up to the boundary with Manitoba, my home province. We're in Saskatchewan here. And these grooves are so deep in my lane here. <laughs> I don't even have to hold the steering wheel. I mean, I am, obviously, but... All you gotta do is keep it in the grooves and the truck will find its way home. We just stopped for a quick break at the scale. Near Moosom in Saskatchewan. Scale house is just over there to the right. Just like watching the traffic go by. It's a beautiful day right now. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Just watching the trucks go by. And sometimes I like standing out here in my yellow vest like this. I look like a, I guess I look like a DOT officer. I don't know. And I just stand out here and just watch the trucks roll past and watch their brake lights come on, thinking that they must have missed the scale. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Stare him down. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> the scale's not open. Scale's closed. I'm just standing out here in my vest because I never really take this off my sweater. And it's kind of chilly out today. It's not too bad, but... Whatever. I got my vest on and I was standing here and I was realizing that all the drivers that passed by were like staring at me and giving me second looks and like their brake lights were coming on. I started realizing they think I'm a DOT officer, I guess, and just standing out here watching them. And then they're second guessing themselves as they go past. Like, wait, wait, was the scale closed? Was that scale open? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. Because there is a DOT vehicle over there or Saskatchewan Highway Patrol. They're there by the building. But I'm also standing right by my truck, so they probably know I'm just a driver. <laughs> See, they got their, their vehicle there, but there's nobody in there, I don't think. But drivers coming past here, they see a guy in a yellow vest, and right away they're thinking, oh shoot, did I just blow the scale? Was it open? We have about another four hours to go yet. I'm kind of tired today. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to sit, watch a movie, and do nothing. It's gonna be great. The rest of the week we got lots of plans already, like I've been telling you. <clears throat> Diesel, what you doing out there, man? Just freaking out drivers passing by, that's all. Messing with them. Oh, yeah, sounds yeah, fine. You wanna go home? I do. You gonna eat your food? I'm letting you lay on my blanket without the sheet. The sheet's over there. I didn't even bother covering the bed with it because it's all getting washed tonight anyway. Yep. So anyway. Hi ho, hi ho. Off to work. I go. Ow! Hurt myself. Bro, oh, I left it in gear. Because I'm a genius. Stop dinging at me. There you go. So how far have we gone today already? We've already driven about six hours. And we got another oh, four and a half yet. Okay, let's go. Oh, we've got a long way to go yet. I don't want to get home in the middle of the night.
clear skies all day pretty much. It was hot today too. And as soon as we got into the pickup, it started raining, like pouring. It just stopped, it went over pretty quick. That was crazy. That was a downpour, what we would call a cloud burst, I guess. It's behind us now. Looks like it's gonna be clear out towards where we're going. We're going into southeastern Manitoba. We're headed south right now, so southeast is off to the left over there. Looks like it's pretty clear out that way towards home. But got this dark cloud looming over us here yet that's probably gonna dump a whole bunch of moisture on us yet. So it's been about three weeks that I was on the road. I was home for a day here and a day there in between, just like we had thought at the beginning of the month. I stopped in for a day uh, on the way to Calgary, stopped in for a day on the way down to, uh, where did we go the first time? Alabama? No, Mississippi. Then we went up to Ontario, went back down to Georgia, went over to Alabama, and then came around this way. So uh, that was our second half of the month. Time to go home now and recharge our batteries. Get that truck looked at, it's going into the shop. And for once, I don't mind. I don't gotta pay for it, not my truck. For once I can be like, yeah, the truck's in the shop and be like, no stress, they'll take care of it. It needs a safety, it's, per it's a pretty new truck, still it's uh, 2018. It has just under 400,000 kilometers on it, so we're talking like, what, less than 300,000 miles? So it should be good. It's gonna need new tires soon, new drives, but now they'll look at it and if, if something needs to be fixed, they'll fix it for me. And when I get back to work, it'll be tip top shape, ready to go. All I gotta do is turn the key, hook onto the trailer and, and give her. No more stress, it's, it does feel good. Still very happy about that, that change. I hope that it rained at home today. Maybe the grass grew enough that I can mow it tomorrow. There's something to look forward to. 